What fascinates me is this dates back months when really Waymo started to investigate what happened in terms of their own data. And tell us, it, it's the LIDAR, the light radar that they're most concerned about here. Right. This has been, so Waymo is Google's self-driving um, company. They actually renamed themselves Waymo on the same day that an employee received this accidental email where they discovered that Auto was developing LIDAR that looked very identical to their own. And that's when they moved this kind of internal investigation and actually into a lawsuit. Uh, and, and LIDAR, that their claims here is that there's trait that uh, that the auto team and Anthony Lewandowski and several other former employees had stole like really critical technology for self-driving cars. And Otto being the self-driving truck unit that Uber bought, seven hundred million dollars. This is what sparked the whole investigation. Remind us, Anthony. Lewandowski, mm -hmm. he himself, who founded Otto, had been working at the Google self-driving car unit, actually had quite a lot of autonomy before, though. He had several companies that used to run rather separately to Google. Right. This is actually, this lawsuit in many ways is sort of the changing nature of Google as a company. Like a lot of uh, former Google people would say this is really rare for the company to go after a former employee like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the time, Lewandowski is a good example of like what the company used to be to have this sort of entrepreneurial spirit, right? So uh, he was, you know, someone described him as a rogue force of nature. He was kind of running these side companies that Google's leaders sort of knew about. And, and some people said they even kind of encouraged it. They quietly bought them, didn't they? Right. They bought them in 2011. They were sort of found, like, these companies. Tech was sort of foundational as part of, like, the street view, their mapping, and then uh, later on for their self-driving car company. And you hinted at it there that this is really quite unprecedented for Google to go after and start suing previous employees. It's sort of against their ethos, really. It is. And, you know, some people said this, this means that they have a pretty airtight case. Uh, alternatively, we have people saying that this is a sign of, you know, the new structure at Alphabet um, and then possibly that this is sort of their, you know, Google has the lead, been the leader in autonomous vehicles development and this research project for such a long time. But now you see companies like Tesla, General Motors, Ford, and now Uber are sort of coming out there and, and putting up competitive programs as well. And this may be Google's way to kind of hold on to their key technology. Bit of fear factor coming in. Also, what's interesting is Otto being bought by Uber came as a complete surprise to some of the autonomous driving unit within Uber already. They didn't know until I think the deal was announced itself. And also, they perhaps felt that maybe they'd rather overspend. Yeah, I mean, there's some there's some tension there. Um, you know, uh, Travis Kalanick, the CEO at Uber, had basically pilfered the uh, the robotics department at Carnegie Mellon. Now we've had a lot of like 15 of the 14 people, 40 people that he's hired have left. Um, we get the sense that there's some tension there, but you know, they brought in basically this new boss, uh, Lewandowski, to oversee them and without them knowing about it. Um, and he, he'd been kind of quietly consulting there for months, even before the acquisition, uh, which is a case that Waymo has made that he sort of planned to be acquired all along.